What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Unite, hopping onto that rank ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a fun video for you guys today. Today, we're playing with my main Grand Ninja after the recent buffs and nerfs and seeing how much better he is. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. And guys, if you want to actually catch more content from me, your boy is streaming five plus days every single week over on Twitch. Link is down in the description below. But let's hop into these rank battles. I'm sitting in expert class two, I believe. I'm trying to get higher in my streams. Haven't been playing too, too much. Been streaming about two hours every single day. So still trying to be grinding here. As you guys can know, this game can actually be rather frustrating and annoying with uh, leveling up in it. Did someone just take Grand Ninja from me? Bro, you better hop off Grand Ninja. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Hop off Grand Ninja, dog. We're going to give this dude a second. Does he know who I am? Does he know this is Jeans here? Does he know that this is Jeans here? Bro, this guy better not lock. Let's see if I can do like a quick chat to him. Be like, hey. Just a sec. Uh, let's see. Let's see what I can say. Can this guy like uh, switch off? Well, give me, give, give me, give this guy a second, yo. He better get off here. I really don't feel like playing Cinder Race. I really want to go. Uh, really want to go Grand Ninja, but I don't mind going Cinder Race. Cinder Race isn't a bad character. Looks like we got a Rock Cinder Race here. Looks like we got a Rock Cinder Race. I'll show off my items that I use for Cinder Race and Grand Ninja. Looks like first battle today, we will actually be using Cinder Race instead of Grand Ninja. But I've been grinding with Grand Ninja after the buffs and nerfs. Uh, Cinder Race actually to get a, a little nerf. He doesn't hit as hard. Well, not as hard. He doesn't... Uh, his basic attack doesn't hit as fast. Did I lock in? I think I did. His basic attack doesn't hit as fast when you get to higher levels. And then his uh, Pyro Ball move got a buff. And then his... Uh, what is it? His Flame Kick. Not his Flame Kick. His... Uh, Faint and the other move got a nerf to it. So, I'm actually totally fine with it. Because considering the moveset that I use doesn't really affect Cinder Race. The only thing that affects is his, uh, is his basic attack. But hopefully Grand Ninja is going jungle because we do need a jungle ruler. Or nine times from rolling the jungle. It don't really matter. It don't really matter. But let's see if I can actually just get this top lane and roll off in there. But yo, I'm upset. I want to use Grand Ninja this whole video, but it's cool. It is totally cool. We are going to be using Cinder Race and Grand Ninja in today's video. Rocking out with them and seeing how good they are. Considering I used Grand Ninja after the nerfs and buffs. And he is a lot better. He didn't actually have any big changes to him. He just had basic attack change. But considering they nerfed Cinder Race and they nerfed a few other characters. It really brought Grand Ninja out. And he is a lot better in this game. Like he went from like C rank on the tier list to like A rank. So he's actually really solid. I was playing with him earlier on stream. And I had a 32 kill, kill game and a 25 kill game. So we were rocking out. We were doing just fine. But I also... Love using Cinder Race. And of course, our what's called is not here. Who's going jungle? Okay, so I guess is Charizard even a jungler? I don't know. It could be. And of course, our Grand Ninja is AFK. Like, dude, come on, man. Are you gonna be AFK? You gonna take my character and be AFK? This one could be a little whack. Could be a little whack for us. But we'll take the kills. Hopefully, that uh, Wigglytuff can actually farm up. But it's really not a farming Pokemon. You know? It's really not a farming Pokemon at all. So let's go here. Let's just take out these guys. And we're gonna have to roll. It's a 5v4, man. Your boy's gonna do all the work here. Slow kick up in this thing. And I do like having Nine Tails on my team, so I can dig it. I can get down with it. I can actually take out uh, his little enemy just so he doesn't get the points. And it's only a one Nine Tails here. He got all the points there. Dip back a little bit. And I can actually, nope. I was gonna say, maybe we can actually hit this thing with an Ember. But I should be fine. Oh, nope. We already took out that core fish. And there's my level four. That's exactly what I was looking for. Let's go after you. Let's see if we can actually do some work. That's his jungle right there. Kind of scared of him. Our Greninja is still away from here. Which is a little tough news on us. You gotta throw a burn on him. Yes, sir. Yo, get some damage off on these guys. Let's keep going with this. See if we can get some more damage on him. And I can actually throw a burn. Oh, hit my wrong button. Hit the wrong button, but it's all good. I'll grab a citrus berry and we'll rock out. Try to get these combis. And of course, yo, Greninja AFK. That's a little whack. If we can win this game, that would be incredible. That would actually be crazy. Well, let's see this. Let's keep rocking here. Keep going. Can I dip back? I cannot. I cannot. Can we surrender this? Can we just, like, surrender this? We cannot end up until, like, 209 seconds. But, dude, are you kidding me? How are you going to take my Greninja? You're going to lock Greninja early on and then just uh, bail on us? Ridiculous, dude. I shouldn't lose a rank for this. Like, I shouldn't even lose a rank for this if we lose this game. Our really tough is, is, is doing really well here. I think I might have to take jungle away and get get levels this way. There's Reboot. I have Ninetales just farm that. I think that's our way. I think that's our way of, uh, of getting after this. 
have nine tails doing that and just me taking over jungle even with the scenarios maybe we can get something cooking with it just maybe yo ko's on that bot lane yo our charizard's carrying so i'll i'll take the jungle we'll go 5v4 on this we're gonna win this ain't no problem ain't no problem i'll come around this way i actually almost have a scenarios which could be big for us be big for a squad they're alone nine tails is about to score and i'm gonna get back up in this lane and try to help out here yeah get back baby get back that's what i thought i'm heading back into that jungle Bro, how? How do you hop in a game and just quit? Like, come on, man. Get him out of here. Let's see if I can sneak down here. It seems like they're having a rough time down there. If I can get this kill real quick. Get him, Cinder. Get him, Cinder. Pop. Get him. There you go. All right. Let's see if I can flank. There is three over here, but it's a little scary. But I'm still going in here. If I can throw that burn on there, there's a kill. Let's see if I can keep getting after this guy. If I can get my Pyro Ball and chase after this Gengar. Fine, there's a Froki. Uh, they're Froki's low level too, so okay. That's kind of kind of evens it out. Let's see if I can flank behind this way. Oh, there you go. I think he's got the Zora. Beautiful. If I can get up here and hit this thing with a Pyroball. And of course, he runs a sub suit on that. Let's see if I can actually just score these points. Oh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. nope. Potion. Potion. Need some help, Charmander. Need some help. Would be nice. Let's go back on her tower. Cancel this move. And Crustle is coming from that top lane. And yo, our Froki's back. <laughs> our Froki's finally back, yo. There's the boy. So I can get up over here. Missed that. And just keep teeing off on these fools. One. Alright, get back a little bit. I'm dead, aren't I? I'm dead. Dang it. Bad push up by me. Real bad push up by me. But it's all good. We are thriving here. I think we're doing just fine. We have to really take like a step back here. Considering our Grand Ninja or our Froki, whatever you want to call him, really took us out of the battle early early on. But luckily this Alone Nine Tails is thriving here. He really is. Alone Nine Tails is doing work here. Let's just dip up here, take out these loot coals. And I'm, I'm, like I said, I gotta take over the jungle position. Uh, we got flame charge now, which is awesome. Flame charge is legit just a better kick, which I really do dig. So I should be able to take this guy out right now and then roll over here. And I think I should go to that top lane with that nine tails. Now that everybody's back, they can have three in that bot lane. Hello, nine tails. How you doing? Let's roll it. Let's run it. They got Rotom. Let's get here and start going after these guys. Slow him down and oh, big old lag spike. Big old lag spike. Double KO from our, our Charizard. That's huge. Keep going here. I almost have my ult ready. I do have my ult ready, which I'm going to send here. Pick up KO, and we'll get a double. Get a double, no problem. Easy double. And I will protect this lane here. And take that out. And I'm going to go roll up and try to get some points. Come on, Jeans. Go put up some points. I'm going to send my potion just so I have HP ready to rock. And I should be fine with destroying this tower, right? Should have no problem. Bang. It's crazy the difference between the time difference between 40 points and uh, 50. It really is. But let's keep rocking here. Can we do this? Can we get him dirty? Can we do him dirty here off a slow start? We are in the lead. I am scared of this guy right here. Get some nice hits there. And of course, he's going to ult. Can we get him? I think he's going to kill us, isn't he? Oh, Greenwich, you had it. Okay, Greenwich did get it. Okay, cool. I was going to be really upset. I was going to be, bro, you didn't get that? Get out of my face. But there should be some combis and stuff just floating here. Oh, yo, chill on me, man. Pick up on you. Got my potion ready? I do, and I should have you easily. Get out of my game. There's the roar backing off a little bit. I flame kick out. Have my nine tails do some work. I'm coming. Nope. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have popped back. Shouldn't have popped back, but I was like, okay, maybe my nine tails need some health. But that was my fault. I should have just went on a tower and protected tower. But I think we're still fine here. I think our levels are decent. I think we're, I think we're playing pretty good. Oh, yeah. Charizard. Get him, baby. Charizard also did get a buff, which is really, really well, which is really nice. Uh, let's go over into the top lane. Keep going this way. And uh, I don't give a about this Charizard if we take out this core fish. Lovely little Corvus. No need to help out Charizard. He's doing him by himself. I'm going to actually go sneak through this uh, jungle area. Come on, Nine Tails. We can use you too. There's Crustle. Let's get him. Pick up on him and should get the KO. Got him. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nine Tails, you're next. You're next, sweetheart. I'm coming around for the flank on you. Oh, never mind. My Greninja got it. Greninja's back and he's already. Dude, he leveled up quick. Dude, it's crazy. I do have 25 points. Maybe I can sneak him in here. No, cannot. I knew I should have waited a second, which was a good idea for him. by me. We were able to wait a second, and we can get Drenal very easily here. Come on, let's take him out here. Hey, okay, Drenal points for the squad. Beautiful, and I'll take all these pokey balls. Bang, 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 bang. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> I love that sound, yo. But they're all rolling through that top. I'm going to. They got Rotom. I'm going to go defend, I guess. This Gene's got to go defend. Come on, Night Tails. Renish about to score like 50 points. 20 points, okay, I can do with that. And they can rock that bot lane. Uh, we're thriving pretty well here. Looking for that win. We're going to take this thing out. 
We can get rid of this thing. He's gonna take us out, isn't he? We can get the back a little bit. And of course he's like He's like boosted, dude. He's so strong. He altered too. These guys are coming out this way. I might just have to ult on these guys. Let's actually go this way. Send that on him. Get rid of him. Beautiful ult by me. And now I have this zone right here. And we can get rid of this guy as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Awesome little play by me to actually take the inside route instead of the outside route. Because if I would have went up and around back into the uh, the lane, then they would have just stopped on us. Zoror would have actually gotten me, so it would have been would have been a rough little play for us, but we took the other way. We was able to ult before he got the points off, picking up a strong little double KO and farming up some points. Maybe I can get some full level 14 here before all this happens, before Zapdos does spawn. That's when a nitty gritty happens. I'm just trying to tee off, but I know Gengar is around me, which I don't like. Up, and ee, I'm chilling. He's going to hop. Leave me alone. I am a little bit faster. That's huge for us. That's Crustle. Oh, chill on me. Can I dip? I dip. Charizard are gonna need you here. I need HP big time. But I am gonna go over here and kind of just try to protect our Zapdos here. We can actually help this out. You need some lovely little HP. Let's keep going here. I tell he's gonna ult, which is great. And I'm gonna pop my potion any second now. Let's keep going here. All right, let's take out the Zapdos. Can we get it? Oh, we should be able to get it here. Oh, that is huge. That's game over. GG's, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you win in Pokemon Unite. You just take out Zapdos. <laughs> so, awesome battle. Pretty cool that we didn't get Grand Ninja and we was basically a 5v4 throughout the match. But we were able to win this one easily. Easily. So, I'm going to just hop up in here. Send this this way. See if we can actually go here. Just flame charge up and just put in my 100 points like that. Look how easy that is. And then pick up KO there. Or who got that? Is that me? Nope, the Ninetales got that. And I have another Pokeball, which I would love to score for two points. <laughs> well, there it is. That is exactly how you win. We rocked out with our Cinderace this game. Played a pretty solid game all around. We actually uh, were able to make a great call by going into the jungle and changing everything up, considering our Froakie was gone. Rocked out from there and pretty much won us the game. The Charizard played really well. The Charizard did play really well. Yeah, that's GG. So let's see if I can actually pick up KO on you. Get back here. Yeah, Crustle wants to, like, armor up. That's totally fine. I do have my ult. So I'm just send on you. And he is bulk, dude. And I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm frozen and everything. <laughs> but you guys know that's how you got to play towards the end of everything. Towards the end of everything, kind of just sit there and you look for kills. But I probably should be over here defending. I was playing smart. It's got eight points. Our team's just defending. Kicking everybody out of here. Not bad, yo. Not bad, crew. Not bad, crew. He's not going to be able to get off those points, I don't think. Let's see. Nope, I don't think they count. Let's see. I don't think they count after that. But 758 to 368, ladies and gentlemen. That is how it is done. That is how it's done. I think we would have won regardless of uh, Zapdos because we were playing pretty well after that. But we did score a good amount of points to put some insurance on the board for that one. But there we go. 7 and 3. Not bad. 142 points. Our Charizard did some work. Did some work for us. Got 10 kills. I was second place on the team for MVP voting. But, yo, we take those. We can hop into our second battle and try to lock Greenidge here and show him off after the buffs. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into our second battle. We were able to lock Greninja here. So I get to show him off after the buffs and nerfs and see how much better he is. And I do think he is better. Like I said, he did not really... Yo, wait. Wait a minute. Yo, Cinderace, get out of that central lane. Cinderace, get out of that central lane. He can have it, actually. Cinderace isn't too bad in the jungle, but I'd rather have him in, like, top or something. I'll rock out in that top lane. We'll try to get rolling with there. But like I said, Greninja didn't get any buffs or nerfs. They just uh, reworked his uh, bug fixes on his uh, basic attacks. But since other Pokemon got nerfs and buffs, it made him more viable in this game. So he is now sitting in the A tier rather than the C tier on the tier list. So I think he's a lot better. That's a huge boost for me, considering I am a Greninja main, and I absolutely love this Pokemon. But we're going to be able to have me and Ninetales in that top lane, which we should be thriving with that. And then we can have that Wigglytuff and that uh, Pikachu down that bot lane. I really do like that. I really do like that. Cinderace, I'll give you a shot at the jungle. I've never seen a Cinderace play the jungle, but hey, we'll see how this one plays out. They have a Gengar, they have a Gardevoir. I'm scared of both of those. Slowbro, I'm really not too scared of. I think Slowbro is a great Pokemon, but I don't think it's anything broken. Same thing with Cinderace. I think Cinderace is a great Pokemon, but I don't see it as anything broken. I think Gardevoir can deal some big damage late game, so want to watch out for that. But we do have the Alolan Ninetales on our team, and Alolan Ninetales is one of the best Pokemon in this game. It really is. 
But guys, forgot to ask question of the day, and that is, what are your favorite Pokemon to use after their nerfs and buffs? My next Pokemon I am going to buy, I think it's going to be Ninetales or Lucario. I heard Lucario after the buffs and all that is phenomenal. Top tier in this game and just ready to rock out from there. But I got a 32 and 25 kill game with this brand new Greninja. So hopefully we can pop off, get some cool uh, gameplay for you guys. We already did play Cinderace in a Greninja video, but it, it was kind of, we we're kind of just showing off. We we're just kind of showing off uh, the nerfs and buffs for uh, the Pokemon. So Cinderace is still pretty viable. I do like him. I do dig him a lot. But I love Ninetales, dude. I think Ninetales is an absolute beast, especially like with the freeze and all that. Just so good all around. There we go. We got level three Raider Rock, and I'm gonna dip down here and take this one out before the what's called the spawn, this Apon. But we got it now, and let's keep Tina off. But I always love having like a nice little support, solid attacker on our team, like Nine Tails. I think Nine Tails works great with Grand Ninja. So let's see how this one plays out. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see you score, Bunny. Don't die, Nine Tails. We need you here. Sit back a little bit. Throw a little, a little substitute. And I'll pop my potion real quick. Get some HP. And just sit here and farm. I'm going to actually grab a Citrus Bay. You can grab one too, Ninetales. You can grab one too. Just so we can get back in action and try to get some levels and stuff and things. But there is a Apom right at the top here. I can hide in bush if I really want to. I see you. Got my bubbles. Hit him up a little bit. And I love this how it gets a little bit of a slowdown on him. Get a little bit of a slowdown. And we'll get some damage off there. And our Cinderace comes out of the jungle and picks up a huge KO. So, gotta love it. Oh, we're picking up all these, all these XPs. Let's step back, drop a little sub, and we have nine tails ready to rock, which is huge. So I'll pop my potion here, and we'll keep Tina off. Try to get rid of this Vesper Queen, and then get after you. And I could probably take him out. That's going to be close. He potioned up. I need to back, but I should be able to get the KO here. There's one. I can get the KO on this thing. I have a potion ready to rock. Almost had that one there. Oh, who got that? Who got the KO? Was that Reboot? It was Reboot. Getting his little younger brother score bunny out the game. I love it. And we have... I'm going to rock Double Team. I've been liking Double Team on Grand Ninja. I think they work really well. I think both that or Smoke Screen is great. But I heard Surf is very viable now. I heard Surf is just phenomenal. So maybe I should try it out in another video. Surf Grand Ninja. People have been loving it. People have been loving it so much. There's level 6 for me. Let's take out you. And I'm going to go over here and just take out this Corefish. More levels, the merrier. You guys are in to deal with that. Uh, get rid of this core fish and give me that level. So we're off to a decent start here. Hopefully we can keep our game rolling here. And just keep doing work. But I see that there should be like... Yeah, okay. This thing is only level 3. So we could potentially pop on this thing. I can just bubble beam onto it. Let's try to pull him out from under the tower. That could be huge because he's only level 4 as well. That could be big for us. So I'm just going to hide in this bush. See if they'll poke out until enemies spawn. So just run around. So we can thrive. We get a boogie on. Get a little dancing. And wait for them to come out. Look at him just chilling our tower. Howdy, howdy, score bunny. <laughs> do that and get after him on that way and just do some big damage. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. Oh, wow. I might be dead. Nope, we're chilling. Let's get back on our tower. Is there a Citrus Berry laying over here for me? Yes, ma'am. And that Citrus Berry. Wiggly Tough came in to pick up KO onto the Gengar. And I'm just going to get levels and grab myself a Grand Ninja. Grab myself a lovely good little Grand Ninja. There's my boy Greninja. And the best part about having Greninja is now we have Water Shrekken, which means I can get HP by just sitting in battle. I really don't have to dip back or anything. I can just tee off on there. But we can actually go up here, Ninetales. This way, Ninetales. Actually, I can just probably still KO. Nope. Actually, might be able to get this thing on the tower. I'm so much higher level than this thing. Let's see if we can get this thing. I would love to get this thing on the tower. There it is. I knew he was very weak, so I was just like, let me, let me get this thing out of here. There we go. Destroy that tower. And I'm going to take out Rotom here as well. Because I can. Because I'm a beast. Because we're ripping. I'm throw a little bit of a double team here. I just keep team off. Get him. Get him. I love double team. I, I've been using smoke screen when I first started playing Grand Ninja. But I think I, I think I really like double team a lot better. Especially in team fights. Or up close. I think they both work very, really well. But I've I just been liking double team. Because it splits up and it buys you a little bit of time. Let's see if I can actually score some points here with this. Uh, oh, there's Haunter. I really don't want to mess with. So, let's see what he does from here. I can just tee off on him. Get back with a double team. Just stay behind my road time a little bit. And I might be dead. They're coming after me. Uh, we're doing decently fine here. I do have my ult ready. I might just ult in here. And of course, of course, your ult, my ult should hit. 
And even if I die in the air, that water striking should have still exploded and did some damage and took out that haunter. In my opinion, that's what it should have done. But we did waste our ult there. It's all good. I think I should be invincible in it. But considering I'm so squishy, if I get hit by a move when I'm up there, it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough. But we have Ludicolo Cole chilling here. I'll take this thing out. No problem. No problem. It's all me, baby. Cinderace, don't take that from me. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Get out of here. Even though I took it from Cinderace, but <laughs> we're still chilling here. We have a Citrus Berry, and we'll rock out. We have a huge lead, playing really well with Grand. And we'll keep seeing off on these uh, little wild enemies. Get it. All right. You don't see a lot of wiggly tufts either. So it's cool that we actually have one on our team. I'm digging in a lot. Keep rocking here. And our goal here is kind of just to uh, farm up and pretty much uh, wait for Zapdos. And of course, no one's in that bot lane. So, Gengar scoring a quick 40. Nice. Nice, guys. Nobody's in the bot lane. <laughs> and our Pikachu. That's why. Our Pikachu's in our top lane for some unknown reason. Get him. Get him. We're not going to be able to kill him, Wigglytuff. We're not going to be able to kill him. Gengar is teeing off over there. I might go back to base after this. I might have to double team out. This is exactly what I'm going to do. Actually, no. We're fine. We're fine with just running. And just farming off some enemies there. It's a core fish. A lovely little core fish down here. It needs a little whooping. And I get some HP from it. So, Cinderace and... uh. And slow bro over there, so maybe we catch him off guard by fight when he's fighting Rotom. We have Water Strike and Plus now, which is nice. I'm actually see if I can just get rid of this Rotom by myself. Take 20 Pokeballs and a nice little push. But I know slow bro is coming in hot. There he is. Go ahead and get some work on this guy. Dip up this way. And keep rolling. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him out of here! Yo, dude, I love when Wiggly Tough attack. He came up and all your. <laughs> I was laughing, bro. I thought that was super funny. Wiggly Tough. Oh, rolls in. I never even saw that move. That's tough. Let me get that. And we're going to roll up here and actually try to, try to get something rolling. And yo, why is the bottom lane running, getting ran? With the Riven right here. What a goal. Yeah, Wiggly Tough. There's no need to score. We just need to defend and get this road time up there. It's a close battle. We need to get this Rotom up there. There we go. Rotom, break that barrier. Cool. We get instant scores here. And we get some big damage off. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cinderace put up 50 as well, so that's huge for us. And I'm almost level 12, which I would really like. So I'm actually just going to go back here and rip up on these combis. I think there's two sets of combis. Nope, only one. I thought there was one back in the other one, but we'll rip them up. And just save our ult for, uh... Or what's it called? Or Zapdos. This is my level 12, which is awesome. Of course, I missed all of them. I'm going to get a slap up on this thing. I'm going to try to get our tower. And, of course, he's just bounding me. I'm dead. I double team, and I'm out. Potion up. And I get some... You know, chill on me, man. Chill on me, man. Let me get under his tower. Let me get under his tower. Let me grab both these city sprays. And Gengar is right here. And, of course, he scored. Of course, he scored. Jeez, dude. That is ridiculous. That's ridiculous how much I just got teed off on. We have a huge lead right now, but again, it is coming down to Zapdos right here, right now. Right here, right now. And how many points is that guy scoring right there? And Gengar just got a double kill, man. I'm coming. How, how's, how's things hanging over here, boys? Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Give me, give me one second. Hop over to that middle lane. And I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, he's coming. I, I might just have to ult right in there. Of course they get that. See if I can take out this Wiggly Tough. I need to get rid of this thing. Come here. There's one. I just need to distract for some time. There you go, Cinder. There you go, Cinder. There you go, Cinder. That's huge. Come on, take this thing out. Take this thing out. Alright, let's roll. Let's roll. We got all the KOs there. That's how you defend it. They got zapped those, but we were able to defend it. So if I can sneak in here, get some points, we'll be thriving. We're in the lead right now. I'm going for his 50 points here. Or it's not 50 points. Oh, no! That would have been big. Can Pikachu get those points? Pikachu might be able to get down there. But all we have to do is defend top lane. Can I, like, mark this? How do I ping this? Can I, like, ping it? Can I ping this? Get some points there, boys. Wigglytuff, just get in this top lane. I need you defending here. Wigglytuff, no! Wiggly. Okay, it's 17. One's going to be close. 34. There you go, Cinderace. Where'd you get over there? 
I think we still have this one, dude. This one's super close. Because it said we were in a lead. But it didn't say it was a close battle. So if they can, uh... They're all coming out that way. I'm going. I'm coming, boys. Come on, there's KO. Beautiful. Defend this. And now we just gotta defend that bot lane. I think we should be fine. I think that's a victory for the boys back home. Here comes Gengar. Five, four, three, two, Come here, Gengar. One. Come here, Gengar. Is that a win for us? Is that a win? Give me the money. 332. 322. Yo, what a battle there. That was a phenomenal battle all around. Played well with Grand Ninja, and we got to show off pretty much how these matches should be. Like, that might have been my first game. I lost Zapdos and won the battle. Because our team kind of formed together and were able to KO all of them and grant them zero points for Zapdos. So that was huge for us. Able to pick up that KO. We kept them down to a decent amount of kills. And I was close to being MVP for the team. But Pikachu took that with 11 kills, 4 assists. And we rocked out. Let's get it, guys. We were able to grab a win with Cinderace in battle number one, even though we were trying to get Greninja. I thought it was pretty funny. Got to show off that Pokemon after the nerfs. He got a few nerfs, and he got a few buffs, so I feel like he kind of balanced out, and he's kind of the same. Just his basic attacks hit a little bit slower, but more importantly, we got to show off Greninja in that second battle, the Pokemon that I wanted to do originally, and grab ourselves a win there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that epic red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.